All right, hey, what's up, everybody? This is um, uh, Anime Beer and Cake. I think Christopher's gonna be reviewing something. What is it, Chris? Utah no Oni san. Utah no Oni san. So let's zoom in a little bit so you can see him. I'm trying to zoom back out. Please do. See my face. Anyway, um, yeah. So take it away, Chris. Well, what is um, uh, Utah no Oni san? Now you know all about. First of all, it's live action. It's a live action. Uh, well, you know all is about it? not not anime. It's just you know well, a movie or a television series. It's a television series. A drama. Okay, a drama from Japan. Yes, yes. Now you know all about the uh, stage show. Stage show. Uh huh. You know, like the uh, high five. High five. Um, the big comfy couch. Uh mm -hmm. You know, I love money too. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, those. There was a stage. Yeah. They're the stage. They got a bunch of actresses in there. But um this show is uh part of kids programming. Um it, it's called uh it, it's a weird name. What well, it, it doesn't really have a name. I just call it uh kids programming show because they show the name very little, very little. They mostly show the characters in the show. Now the main character the, the characters of the uh, the television show in the television series, you got me? Yeah, I gotcha. Um, the the main character is Satoshi. Oh no, Satoshi! There you go. Oh no, Satoshi! Oh no! Oh no! He plays as uh, Kenta Yano, and he's a guy where he's he, like the main character. He's the that? main character, but the uh, the story is pretty good. Uh, the plot is this. He starts out, he's a band, you know, a band leader in this really cool, cool band. Mm -hmm. And then one day, and, and his girlfriend's in there as well. And then one day, they're having a concert or whatever, right? You yeah. Know, they're just singing. And then all of a sudden, his girlfriend says, uh, yeah, um, this band is breaking up. And dumps him at the same time. Uh, so his band breaks up. And he gets dumped by his girlfriend at the same time. That seems like a TV show right there. Exactly. Uh, so he gets unemployed, right? Uh, uh, he's trying to look for a job. His parents are just angry at him because he's like, go to school or get a job and all that stuff because music ain't for you. So he goes out and looks for a job. Uh, he looks in the newspaper. He finds a, he finds a job, right? Um, he interviews for this job. And he thinks it's like a, because he said it's a job in, you know, television. And he he feels like it's like a director or a producer job or something like that. But oh, okay. he has the interview. And he says in the interview, you know, kids, he, he, he nails it. You know, he says kids are important to us, you know. Um, this is a bad age for kids, you know, because all the problems that's going on right now. Yeah. And he gets the job. And then later on. Probably like a second after he walks out of that room, knowing that he got the job, he finds out that the job that he has requires him to wear a costume and dance. Now, he just got the job. After the interview, like a second after the interview, he realizes that the job that he had gotten is not really a director or producer job. It's really a job that requires him to wear a costume and dance. Like the background dancers, you know, yeah. and the, uh, the, the Japanese. <coughs> yeah, they, they always have that, especially like the the little workout video with the little doggies and stuff like they that. They were like, I wanted to, I, I'm not going to say I always wanted I, to I be think, one I of think those. that's 3D or something, man, because that looks pretty weird. Would you take the job? Probably not. I, I'm a look, that, that job's all right, though. That job's all right. You know, you just. Yeah. Oh, um, so you, it's so ugh, it's like it's icky. It's hot. It's gonna get high in that costume, and you gotta. I mean, granted, nobody knows where you know who you are, but still, it's, it's a pretty big step down. Uh, I don't even know whether or not that job pays that well. I don't think so. Second janitor job, but I don't know. I think janitors get paid well. All right, let's continue. All right. Um. Now, he his family. Uh, later on in the series, his family knows about this. His family knows that he's doing this uh, job, and is this worse than music? Uh, 
I mean, they, <laughs> they're hilarious to the show because they, they uh, make fun of them. They made tremendous fun of them. There was one time, right, where he had uh, went to his job and then he had to dress up as an acorn, right? And then he was dancing, right? <laughs> he was dancing and then he was tired because, you know, um, well, he, he meets these, uh, these two people, like a prince, dresses up as a prince and a princess. The prince is a complete asshole. He's kind of like a Terrell Owens when well, he was in Philly. Well, yeah, I mean, he's a prince, so no. all, I think all princes are genetically like that. He dresses up as a prince. He thinks that he's the best. He thinks that the, the station does is he nothing. Know he's, does he just think he's just... Is he think that he's a real prince? He or? thinks that he's like the boss of everybody uh, because he feels like it, it's nothing without him. You know what I'm it's saying? It's like, I'm the boss. See the crown? Yeah, and this everybody's is, like... This is real. He tells everybody, buy it on to me. Now, he he been, like, getting on his nerves a lot. And every time, uh, his job, right, uh, Kenta, his job as an acorn is to roll down <laughs> and lay down. And he keeps saying, cut, 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 like 150 times. And he had to keep rolling down. And as soon as he went uh, what, home... What's the right way to roll down something dressed, in a, dressed as an acorn? I, I don't, I don't know. think there is no right way to roll down. I think that that prince guy and the princess, uh, her name was uh, Nana. Her, I think that's her first or last name. Mm. Really pretty. Uh, I think they're both whack jobs about the uh, about the kid programming thing. But later on, right, he he gets really really tired. They get finally get done the set. He gets home, right. And then he finds out that his family is all cooking like acorns. Oh. Like they're making acorns with rice. Uh, they're making acorn cupcakes, acorn cookies. They have cakes shaped like acorns. And he's like, hey, how you doing? We have some acorn there. You want some? <laughs> oh my God. It's hilarious because it's, it's just, he just came home from the recording. You know, it's not live. They didn't see it yet. But they just started making acorns out of nowhere. And, you know. I'd run away from home. It's not <laughs> worth it. But when you see it, it, it's it's really, really funny how they did it. So is the show like funny? The show is mostly drama because his relationship between his girlfriend breaking up with him in a band. But it, it, it has a lot of comedy in it. It has a lot of comedy in it. There's a lot of lot of very beautiful women in that show as well. Of course. <laughs> Though we probably know that they're probably not paying those women anything. I mean, I mean, there are some dramas, Mark, where they... They don't really have, um, yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, it, it's re it's really it's a really really good show. I I'm not gonna put it up there with the last friends because it's not that deep. Nobody didn't really die. It's about him, his relationship, and him being a. Uh, Does he ever see the girl again throughout the show? He sees the girl many many times. It'd be uh, funny if she catches him in that costume. Well, she does know. There's a point that where she does know that yeah. he. You know what job he does, but later on, dun, dun, dun. Uh, I I I think you you find out that uh, that he becomes like he start, get, starts from the bottom and comes on top, which means that he's starting to dress as costumes of you know big dogs and acorns to becoming like the lead, uh, dressing up nice. as the main character of the TV show, nice. and that's when you know everything. Starts to. This is like drama club central. Yeah, get great, you know, like or get worse. To, or worse, yeah, it's, I, I guess it would be worse. Um, uh, but it's a pretty good show. Not too serious. That that's why I'm going to have to give it a four out of five. Um, it, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, good actors. Uh, it's pretty hilarious. There are some things like the prince and the princess. They they get a little bit, you know, exaggerating, you know. Uh, come on, man. It, it's kids programming. I mean, come on. Yeah. It, it's not that but serious. It, but the show itself is for, like, older people, right? Uh, yeah. It's, it's sort of for older people. I, I think kids could watch it, but there are some smoking. There are some cursing. So, probably, well, like, teenagers. So, teenagers did. Yeah. There's some cursing, but kids can watch it. <laughs> yeah. Just do this whenever you're about to hear a curse word. More Devil Man was PG-12. Okay, man. yeah, okay. You got me, you got me. They, they did do that. But Okay, a minute left. So, what's what's the show's... Like... What's the show's name again? Utah No Oni-san. Utah No Oni-san. 
Yes. It starts with a U, right? It starts with a U. Okay. And where can people find us? Uh, you can go to... Can I say it? Well, I don't know. Well, you can go, you can look around. You can go to dramacook.com or you can go to crunchyroll.com. Uh, if you're a... Uh, well, okay, Crunchyroll is okay. Yeah, you'll probably find it in Crunchyroll. Go check it out, guys. Okay, so we're going to get it there. It's really good. Or at least see the trailer. The trailer's really good. Okay. So I guess it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. All right. I like cheese. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next week. It's my first review.